Here's the Stumac miter blade. I'm using it to get a perfect join on this laminated binding. And with it I can get really clean miter joints like on this Flying V guitar I'm working on. Sharp square binding joints are one of the first things I look at when I see a guitar, and it's a sign of good craftsmanship. Before coming up with this idea, I used to use a handheld chisel. If I got out of plumber square the littlest bit, I didn't get a good joint. Often I'd keep chopping away to improve the joint and then end up taking too much off and throwing the piece out and starting over. Then one day I was mitering some white tortoise white binding and I came up with this idea. And you can see it in an old Trade Secrets video. I mounted a small blade into a wooden holder and super glued it in place, then put a brass dowel in the end of it so I could chuck that in the drill press. After that Trade Secrets, a lot of people wanted one. So we did it upright, making it out of brass, and it's a real pro tool, and I'm happy they like my idea so much. I like to polish the blade to a mere shine so I can see the miter reflected before I cut it. Here I'm trimming a piece of Brazilian rosewood into a small, accurate plug to inlay a chip in the fretboard of this vintage Telecaster. Straight, clean vertical cuts are a must-have for all types of woodworking, guitar building, and guitar repair and the Stumac miter blade is good for a lot of jobs, not just mitering binding. <music>